the red carpet is rolled out and the popcorn is popped, cinema lovers are here all geared up for the second Indie Meme Film Festival. After receiving a phenomenal response from the audience in 2016, this year Indie Meme has curated a total of 15 films from features and documentaries to short films. The festival spotlights on the films from India, Pakistan, Iran, Nepal and Afghanistan. Indie Meme aspires to support independent filmmakers who produce thought-provoking films on issues that would spur your mind. This is Seema Govil for TV Asia. Bua? 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 Bye, I'm going to kill you. Bye, ไม่รู้ไอ้เจ๊กินะมาดูสุขสงบไปก่อนเราตบไปมาวะเดี๋ยวกัดกินเดี๋ยวก็ดูนจะอุ้มได้นะตาเทียนสบายดีเดี๋
Yeah. And uh, you know, whatever we both hoped it would be mm -hmm. about building a community, building those bridges, bringing in some international culture into Austin. I think it's just, it's all going in the right direction. At least, I mean, fingers crossed, it feels good tonight. Right. So uh, tell us the little bit of process of curating these films. What were your criteria? You must have seen innumerable films. <laughs> so what made you pick these 15? Let's talk about the films. So the process is we have a team mm -hmm. and we do source, uh, like you said, a lot of films. So we, we must have probably gone over a hundred films. Yeah, um, and then, and then um, um, you know, we kind of shortlist, we, everybody votes on them and things like that. So what is interesting about the whole process is n we don't just get the films which have a buzz about them, which are in the news, but we also get a lot of smaller films, um, you know. Um, uh, so I think, I think our, our process has been firstly about trying to pick the best films and then the next that step have. begins. So like uh, yeah. we were addressing today, you know, uh, films and filmmakers are the heart of uh, indie meme. So uh, when uh, and when we keep that focus, then what happens is when you're organizing an event at this large a scale, which is a film festival, um, a lot of things uh, kind of you know have uh, uh, could get lost within the festival and the event to program it, to to kind of run it and to organize it. But I think the most important thing is that our programming team is so good that the best film focus is always in the mind. So whenever we are selecting uh, the films, that is a top priority whether it's a single screening that we are doing or we are doing the curation for the entire festival and uh, our platform is uh, really for films uh, that have social messaging that have uh, that's meaningful cinema and uh, independent films that that bring out uh, uh, different cultures uh, from different parts of the world that is there and uh, so we re and we want to provide this platform to small time filmmakers who don't necessarily have access to the world stage for their films to be promoted. So I think that's very, very prime yes. and very important for us when we are programming our entire lineup. And how has the response been from the Austin community? Oh, it's been okay. wonderful! My goodness, I, you know, one of our one of our supporters was was on the red carpet just a little while ago, and he was so sweet on camera. He said, "And I will go as far as you want me to go yeah. to help you and <laughs> make sure you guys." So wow. I think I think the community really. I I think they really came yes. out to support us. Oh, They've yes, yes, yes. I, I, I like think that. with IMFF, it's a community yeah. event now. You yeah. know, you have, we have volunteers, we have yeah. members, we have sponsors, right? And then we have audiences and, and everybody in their own little way is supporting us. And uh, the friends of the festival, of course, who have made donations to us, yeah. uh, I mean, that's fabulous. Yeah. That's, that's kind of taken us the last uh, leg right, that yeah. we needed to put this whole event together and, and have it pulled off. Yeah. So. And I, so I, yeah, I think the community is awesome and I think they support it and um, and that's why we've been able to do what we've right. been able to do. And yeah. even the sponsors, like she was saying, you know, everybody who's involved and has pitched in and the in-kind people. And um, what's very important is that we, we're a completely volunteer-led organization. So, you know, from top yes. up, you know, we have we have it we have it built from the grassroots by people donating their time. And uh, I'm here to uh, watch lipstick under my burqa. I've heard a lot about it, and uh, I think it's one of uh, more female-oriented movies. Um, and there are very few of those that are come out, and it's not a mass-moving movie, um, sort of a documentary. Um, I am not sure what the movie is about, but I'm too excited to see it. Thank you. खंडहर से घर के एक बंद कमरे में रोजी कैद थी अपने जवान रंगी अरमानों के साथ बिल्कुल अकेली पहले नाम बताओ अपना बुआ जी किसकी बुआ जी मेरी बुआ जी तो नहीं हो पर्दे बड़े मोटे थे अंधेरे में रोजी को कोई देख नहीं पाता लाइफ में सिर्फ बच्चे ही पैदा करने हैं या कुछ और भी प्लान है तुम्हारा ले ली ले ली ले ली जान 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 बिना पूछ हाय हाय दीदी देती देती जान 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 बिना पूछ वाई वाई ले 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 जान 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 बिना पूछ हाय हाय सामने देखिए प्रोफाइल टाइगर सामने देखिए सगाई हो रही है आपकी फोटो खिंच रही है सो हाँ ना चल मी दिस डिड यू रियली एक्सपेक्ट लिपस्टिक अंडर बुरकार टू गेट सच ए ट्रेमेंडस रिस्पांस 
No, I don't think I ever expected it to uh, travel so much. But I think, you know, every film comes with its own destiny. And uh, I think it was destined to travel so much and, you know, become a global film. So I'm extremely proud of it. So uh, why do you think people are relating to it, connecting with it and getting so emotional watching it? I think right now is a time when, you know, women are realizing that, you know, that they need to speak up. And for a long time, we've hidden our feelings and our desires under the carpet for too long. And it's time, you know, we, we start sweeping them out. So, uh, you know, it's and I've, I've mentioned this earlier as well, that this is not a country specific film. It's become a global voice for a lot of women. And, uh, you know, we've been seeing the kind of response in Japan. We saw a tremendous response in, you know, in, in Europe, in, in London. And now we're seeing a great response in America. So I think since it's traveled four continents now, like, you know, it's, 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 it's been great, you know. And, and I think all the women are relating with it. So I think, you know, it's kind of given a voice and a kind of a face to a lot of women. So I think now they are, they're like, you know, well, hell yes, you know, we have feelings, we have sexual desires, and we will speak about them. If you don't like it, if you're uncomfortable, keep your opinions to yourself, yeah. Cool. So um, tell us a little bit about working with your co-workers, with the directors, and how is the response that when you're meeting and talking to real people on, like, on these festival route, I mean, you were at EFLA, you're on NYFF next week, Dallas, I mean, you're busy. <laughs> So what are people, women, men, coming up to you and actually saying to you? You know, uh, actually this has been a very uh, insightful experience for me because, uh, you know, I, I chose to travel with the film because I don't know when else would I have been able to experience, uh, you know, such power with the film. And I think because the film is so powerful in itself, you know, some people get very uncomfortable. But what I look forward to is the Q&A after the the you know after the, the screening gets over because it's so fresh in the minds and it's been so positive all 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 the way you know because people have just been like you know you guys have been really courageous to be making a film like this in India because you know of all the places imagine a film like this coming out of India you can imagine a film like this coming out of America or like coming out of like you know um, another country maybe like Britain and you know because women are talking a lot more there but women in India do not speak about you know what they feel so easily so um, you know that's why I think like this has been a very insightful experience for me and, and I think it's I'm, I'm really looking forward to what New York has to say and I'm, I'm, I'm excited about what Dallas and Austin has to say so at least I'll have something to tell my director because she's not here so what we'll do is we'll talk to you again at the closing night with the audience and we'll get the real reviews yeah, <laughs> done sure. yeah, absolutely we should <laughs> You'll be anyways there for the Q&A and you'll, you'll listen to what I have to say. <laughs> cool. Thank you so much. So welcome to Austin. Enjoy this time. Mingle. Meet a lot of people. Get Texas hospitality. That morning comes in every girl's life. When she wants to become a woman, she wants to become a woman. I'm Rihanna Bidi and my song is Seven Things to Inspire. Come on. Gopal's Britney number three. The desires of Rosie were also like Rosie. The desires of Rosie were also like Rosie. As an Indian American, one thing that I've always been a strong advocate of is women's empowerment through education. Go the extra.